Tyler Cantrell, we're back with Ruffin McNeil, head coach at East Carolina. And uh, tell you what, Coach, I, I saw a Southern Miss fan out. I was talking to him a minute ago before we did the press conference for them. And you came walking down, and they said, who is that right there? And I said, that's Ruffin McNeil. And they said, oh, no, that's not Ruffin McNeil. I said, that is Ruffin McNeil. Coach, you look great. How are you, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling great. You know, uh, offseason was uh, pretty strenuous, I, I, I'd say the least. Uh, two surgeries and uh, major surgeries in three-month time. And, um, but my staff was fantastic. Uh, of course, my better half, Erlene, made it possible with her support. And the players did a great job, and they've done a great job just supporting me. I had a team of great doctors. Uh, it was a year plan and a year thought process by me to make the decision. And then I was very fortunate, and I mentioned blessed about being in the right place at the right time uh, with the medical facilities we have there. So I'm doing great. I, I feel good. I'm able to – somebody asked my what's my hobby right now. My hobby is walking. So, uh, man – I, I love the – now I hadn't been able to do it without pain, so now I can. Well, obviously you're doing a lot of walking today. He's been a very popular guy here today. Oh. And, again, uh, you, you look at this upcoming season, you guys have got a bunch of non-conference games. Yes. They're going to be very tough. Yes. Uh, talk to us a little bit about getting ready for those games and, and, and what they're going to mean going into conference. How tough a schedule it's going to be for you guys. Well, you know, I, if, I think throughout the conference, if you look at our conference, non, our conference and the non-conference schedule, we probably – play as tough a non-schedule, non-conference schedule as a conference as anyone. From top to bottom, every one of us do. Um, but, you know, in preparation, uh, you know, we know we have to, uh, won't change anything we do, but we had to turn up, turn up, uh, keep improving in the off season and, 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 and do that and do the things in off season as far as uh, planning and, and projections of practice, uh, no matter who we play. But now you're facing a team, a team we face in South Carolina and Virginia Tech and UNC at Chapel Hill and Navy. Those all four great, great opponents. So we have our hands full. It's a great challenge. Uh, we're looking forward to the process as a staff, and our players are too as well. Well, you look back at last year, and you had a lot of injuries on defense. Yeah. And uh, I remember I saw you guys when you came to Birmingham, played yes. UAB, yeah. and it looked like the walking wounded on yeah. both sides. Yeah. Everybody was hurt. Both sides. This, uh, this year, you're going to have some more depth on defense. Obviously, some of those guys have healed up. How much improvement do you see from the defensive side of the ball this year? I tell you what, I'm looking forward to uh, a really remarkable <clears throat> – excuse me, I'm sorry uh, – improvement in our group. Um, you know, we, we lost – we didn't have much depth, and we lost three of our best players almost – Week by week, we lost one against UNC, then two against Central Florida, and one time, one time I think right as one after another. But uh, now we're able to get more depth. We have those guys back this year. Uh, we made a defensive change and going to a three-four look, which helps us get more athletic ability on the field and speed. Uh, we know in this league, everybody can spread the football around and throw it and, and move the ball. So we had to have a defense that fit what we have on fits what we have on campus. Also, ability to adjust and uh, defend the offense in this personnel. So I'm looking for improvement by the group. And obviously, we just talked to Dominique Davis, a very special player. I told him all he did last year was break 15 records in his first year as a starter. Uh, you look at this, you look at this offense, and you look at Davis being back your senior leader, and he's quick to to give praise to his offensive line. How, how good can this group be this year, building off of last year? Well, you know, I think you know we we have a, and you mentioned Dominique. He's a great leader off the field, and uh, you know he'll, he'll be on some Saturdays. I came up to the field house and I looked on the field, and there was about 50 guys out there, and he was leading them. So. That always helps to have one of your best players as being you know, your most passionate one and, and the one that does the extra things, the deliberate work, I call it. Uh, it's, 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 uh, we have uh, uh, some guys that have to come through for us, uh, uh, on, uh, really on defense and offense, and uh, protecting Dominique is very important, getting the right guys up front and the running back position and uh, all spread offenses. You need those guys to help protect Dominique and also do their jobs. But I feel very confident we have some guys that come through for us. And last question, because, you know, Coach McNeil, you, you come in and you've been the face of East Carolina very quickly and uh, obviously a face for the league. And the league's got a new television deal this year. And yeah. just asking you your thoughts on that, uh, maybe some ex increased exposure for the Pirates. What, what's your early thoughts on the TV deal? Well, you know, and you, you, we went around today and you and I spent a day together with this at this media day. Professional, first class, uh, really a group that – just I think will take us to the next level uh, as a conference. Uh, we have some exciting 
coaches in this league, uh, some of the top coaches in the game, um, and we have some of the top players in this league. Everybody has that guy. So we'll have a chance to get some exposure from our conference, our teams, and our, our top players, and even coaches now across the country and across the nation. Well, we're not going to keep you anymore because right now Ruffin McNeil wants to do something and it's walk. So we're going to let him get back to his, uh, his new hobby. Coach, thanks Thank for taking the time you. with Thank us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Thank you.